Today, I'm going to show you a tool that's going to maximize your exposure of your business to more and more of an audience. Now, it could be that just having a small audience, locally speaking, is fine for your business. But many other businesses want to see, well, how do they perform if you go just a little bit further? In fact, just by going from one mile to five miles or 10 miles, you can maximize the amount of people that look for you by 40 times the amount. So just a few miles radius can make a massive difference to your business. So how are you performing in your local business? How do you perform, say, a mile down the road or two miles down the road? Well, there's a few things you could do here. You could go down the road, say, go to the next village. You could stand there with your phone. You could do a search for your business using the search terms or the keywords that you're using. And you could see where you come up then. The difficulty is, of course, is your phone has probably already got your accounts, your Google My Business accounts or your Google accounts. And so, again, it will bear in mind it knows what you're searching for. It knows you own the business. So you'd probably have to do that in an incognito mode. And even then, it's difficult to know whether that's an accurate device and it's actually giving you accurate results. So what you really want is a tool that's going to go to various places locally and search for your business and then let you know where you appear in the results in a neutral basis. And of course, there are tools that exist. And I've got a really great one today that's not only going to give you a free trial, but I've also got a free bonus coupon you can use that will double the free trial. So that will then give you twice as many credits as you then optimize your business and see what impact it's having in Google Maps. So one of the challenges is that you're making changes to your Google My Business, but you can't really know whether it's having a positive effect, whether those keywords are helping you get more people picking up the phone and finding you. And of course, one of the ways you can find out the overall impact is you can actually look at your analytics or you can look at your insights on Google My Business and there it will show you how they're finding you and what keywords they're using. And those are probably the keywords you need to optimize for. But of course, to go from, say, top 10 to number one or number three, that will make a massive impact to the amount of traffic. And if you were just outside the top three and you knew that, then you would know that that was the keywords to particularly aim at because going into the top three will give you an incredible amount of extra traffic. So that's what we're going to look at today is what tool will help you to know what words you could optimize for and actually improve your traffic immensely. Now, of course, we've often spoken about having a plan to optimize your business with traffic in mind. So you know that if you regularly update your business with photographs, that brings a lot of traffic in, that gives you a boost up the rankings, and that will help you to get to those top three areas. But you want to measure that. So when you put that effort into doing a month, say, of, of regular photos, you want to see has that had an impact on you being found? And also you want to measure other things like if I post on a weekly basis, or if I put an offer out, what impact is that having in my search results within Google My Business, Google Maps, and so on? Well, this tool is going to help you do that too. So this call app's called Persuaded. I'm going to show you now how it works. And I'm also going to show you the fact that when you expand your area, the difference in traffic is immense. And that's the key to this tool, is remembering that it's worth expanding and expanding into the areas that maybe is easier. So for example, if you've got um, if you've got a million people to the left and a million people to the right, and you're appearing say number four to the right, and you're appearing number 24 to the left, which one's going to give you the most traffic? Well, you might as well just go to optimize number four and get to top three or top two, because there you've got a million people looking for you and you're almost there, you've nearly made the top three. Whereas if you're not gonna make the top three, then you could be wasting your time on another nearby area. So understanding exponential growth is an important part of this process before we show you the tool. So to give you an idea of the exponential growth, and maybe you've already come across this before, if you've done any advertising, you'll know that as you increase the arc or the radius of your area, it increases the population. And that's pretty much a principle we just need to establish before we go on to this local SEO tool. So for example, say for instance, I had a business, I was opening a restaurant in the bank area of London. Um, so I'm just, if I was to advertise to say um, the one mile area, and I'll click on that. 
So in the one mile area, I can just find the population there. So find population. And obviously it's uh, an area. So 123,000 is the estimated population for that area. Now, if you ranked number one for your restaurant in that area, then potentially of the people living there, you've got 123,000. Now, obviously it depends on some things are different because it's very touristy here. But say you're a plumber and you serve that local one mile area, which would be probably a far too small area, then you've got 123,000 thousand potential customers but the point of this isn't really to to define the area but it's just to get an idea of how quickly it can change so if you make a note of that 123,000 so just reset the map and if we then make it say two miles so instead of 123,000 we now if we click on there we get a two mile radius and you'll notice now if I go population for that it pretty much doubles so it's 252,000, so it's just over double, double and a bit. But this is where it gets interesting. If we go for, say, five miles, and we then find the uh, population on that, so a same area. So now we're going five miles. So if you were a takeaway service and you were doing five miles, whatever, that would be realistic. If you were coming up number one, then notice it doesn't then add as five times that 123,000, but notice now how many people you're serving. This is the exponent exponential growth that we're speaking about because now you've got just under two million and if we were to just double that again so now if we do that to 10 miles and we click again on find the population on the 10 mile area and we've now talking about just under five million that's just an area of London and of course it depends on where you are and the uh, the density of the population but I just thought that was a good example of how growing in the top part of your business in a certain area as you get wider out there's loads more potential and you need to understand that principle as we now go on to our tool of course if i go to google maps right now and do a search for a web designer i'll come up number one why well because it's going to the internet saying i'm here and now i'm asking well where's the nearest web designer and of course i'll be number one because i'm sat here in my office but of course, if I was to go, say, five miles down the road and search for the nearest web designer or the nearest person to optimize Google My Business, would I come up number one? Well, that's a challenge. You can't be number one at everything. And at the same time, you need to know whether or not you are going to be number one and what's worth working on and what's worth not working on when it comes to keywords and optimizations. So another principle I just want to uh, point out is the fact that Google changes the results as you get further out from where you are. So Tandoori Nights is coming up number one in this area. But notice as I zoom out, you'll notice Tandoori Nights, is it now number one? Yes, it is still. If I come out a few more miles and it's still number one, I come out a few more miles. And now suddenly it's not even in the top three because the competition of the next nearby town is coming in as well. And so whereas Tandoori Nights is still on the edge, it's still probably in top 20, it's now competing against a lot of other businesses along the, the, the coast here. So the point I'm trying to just get over is we need to be aware that as you get further and further out and as you get a larger radius, the competition gets harder and harder and other nearby towns and cities will start to have an, an effect on your business. And of course, if you keep going um, on a national basis, then you kind of you, you pretty much lose altogether the impact of what you're doing, because what happens now is you're so far away from the area of visiting that you'd expect to then put the area that you're wanting to visit. So for example, if I was looking for an Indian takeaway in London, which is not coming up, but if I now put in London, it will take me directly to London and it will give me results for London. So this idea of the fact that Google understands the searcher's intent. It knows that if you're looking for an Indian takeaway, you generally want it locally to where you are. And if you wanted it to be delivered to somewhere else because you're visiting somewhere else in a few days time, then you would actually put where that somewhere else is. And again, so then you've got different competition in different areas. So that's just another little principle. And that's why you need to have a tool that goes to these places and tells you what the results are as if you were physically there looking locally. So of course, as you get wider from your area, the competition gets wider too. So the rewards for having bigger traffic are greater, 
but the competition generally grows greater too. Now, if you've got quite a niche market or if you're particularly good at something that most people aren't, then as you get wider and get further, the rewards will get bigger, but the competition isn't always there. And you may find that one area gives greater competition than the other. So that might be the bit to focus on. So knowing which direction to go from your business is part of the benefits of this tool because it's going to show you where the easier traffic is to go for and which area you should be aiming for. And of course, if you mention that nearby city in your keywords or nearby village, that's going to give it even a clearer boost because Google will see you as relevant to that audience to the left or to the right, depending on what the village area or city area is. So let's jump in and see how this tool works. So we're going to set up a keyword here for my business. So I'm going to go to my company name, find that on there. Uh, the keywords. Now, the thing is, is I've gone kind of away from web design. I seem to be now a consultant for Google My Business. Um, that's kind of developed in the last year or two. And that seems to be what I'm being ranked under now. Um, I've gone for, I think you need probably to get something like, I don't know, something like a six by six is pretty good. Um, let's go that by, let's go for a thousand meters in between each one. So a kilometer in between each one. So there's my business there. I'm going to cover pretty much the whole of Boscombe, Southbourne, and some of Bournemouth as well by doing this, if I put it in the middle there. I'm just also going to use a single pin. Let's just have a single pin in the centre of Bournemouth as well. So if you're in the centre of Bournemouth, would you find me? There's a lot of offices and businesses around there. So that, see if they find me there. So you're looking for someone to do your Google My Business locally. Uh, let's try that. So now what that'll do, that will start to chug along. It will look for... Um, as if you were standing there, uh, I can get an idea now. Where do I stand when it comes to Google My Business? And look at that, it's pretty much top top one, top two, um, wherever I go in Christchurch, number one as well. So that's great. So at the moment, I dominate Google My Business. Um, if I'm not number one, I'm number two. So I can see going this way, I'm number two. Um, going this way, I'm number one. So really it looks like it's a pretty much clear cut line down here. So my goal in the next few weeks will be to get this to number one, but you need to do this for your results. So you'll be focused on whatever your business is. You need to then just go to your keywords, you put in your location and then follow the process. It's absolutely free. So I'll give you free details below and I'll be able to double your credits as well with my special promotion coupon. So this tool has been specifically designed for Google My Business local SEO. It gives a lot of information. You can run it on a regular basis and it comes with some free credit too. But I also want you to double that credit. So if you go to the link down below and sign up, and then once you've signed up using the link down below, then if you put this in as well, and I'll put the coupon down below, but the coupon is X29RD. Now you need to put that in and I'll show you where that goes right now. So that will double your free credits. And now you've got plenty of credits. Now it's a case of now jumping in and using it. Now, one of the other things that people don't always realize is that Google understands what people's intent is. Now, Google's idea or its algorithm is, is that if it understands what people are searching for, it will almost second guess what they want. So we call this searcher's intent. Now, if you're not sure what searcher's intent is, or you've never come across it, then let me just explain a few things about it because you do need to know this too. So one of the main things that Google returns results on is your location. So the nearer you are to the person searching, that in itself will have quite an impact. So initially everyone has kind of an equal batting from that point of view. If your office is in a city where there's lots of population, then that's a big deal. But the competition will obviously be harder there too. But on top of that, there's a few other things as well to bear in mind. So that means that Google tends to prefer to return results based on at least three areas. So these areas are, first of all, it's down to the click-through rate and the results that it's getting from the business. Next, it's to do with the authority you've got from external sources. So if you've got links to your Google My Business listing, if you're recommended on open table if you signed up with just eat if you're say a restaurant if you're another business a travel business trip advisor or plumbing business checker trade those types of things have a big impact too and then finally it will also look at the results of what a person searched for in the past 
And again, it will work out its likely intent. So location is important, but also there are lots of other signals required too. And you can't control all of those things necessarily immediately. So this search's intent is why location matters, because that also has a big impact. So if you want to understand search's intent and get more business, then head over to this video now and I'll show you how it works. But if you just want a plan on how you can grow your business on a bespoke plan for your business, something you can do each week, then head over here and I'll see you there.